Steve James Hill with BNC Sports. Uh, Jordan is back. Um, how special is it to have a familiar face, a guy who knows uh, the program, so to speak? Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to have Jordan back. Um, you know, he knows our team. He knows how we play. You know, he understands how to play with Steph and Draymond and the guys. And, um, you know, he was really productive for us. Um, you know, started uh, playoff games and, and gave us uh, – big performances in, in big games. So, you know, the, the opportunity to add someone who uh, has all that in the last two games is really uh, important. You know, normally in this case, you get a guy who doesn't know any of your terminology your style, your philosophy. So this is really um, kind of the perfect storm for us um, to, to be able to sign Jordan. What do you think Jordan Bell can give you guys? Well, you know, the, the way we play is pretty unique, as you know, Anthony. And um, he gives us depth. We've been really, really thin, obviously, playing eight guys here, you know, the last few weeks. Um, and it's great to get Eric back, so that'll add, add some depth. But, you know, if Looney or Draymond were to get injured, um, what Jordan has the capability of doing is stepping in and just playing um, – the way we know how to play. So there's a real comfort level there. And uh, he's always been a guy who's, you know, really fast up and down the floor and, and uh, capable of, of playing in the half court, being a you know, pick and roll uh, DHO guy. So um, he gives us insurance if we have any injuries. Ideally, would you like to get him on the floor tomorrow? Yeah, I think that'd be great, you know, just to get his feet wet, get him comfortable. Um, so that, that, that's definitely the plan and, um, got to get Eric back out there tomorrow too. So, you know, regardless of what our, uh, circumstances are tomorrow in terms of all the injuries, um, you know, Eric and, and Jordan will, will find a way out onto the floor. With Jordan being gone for a couple of years, what are your expectations from him in terms of not just playing, but just being a part of. Uh, of the culture? Um, I think he'll be great. I think, yeah, I enjoyed coaching him here. I know um, people want to focus on, we had a, uh, I guess, an, an argument on national TV. Um, I can't remember exactly. I think it was in LA against the Clippers. And so people lock in on that, but that's routine. Um, you know, that stuff happens all the time. Um, so I, uh, I've always, uh, enjoyed coaching Jordan, enjoyed having him on the team uh, when he was here. And I'm, I'm excited to have him back. Jordan James Hill with BNC sports. Congratulations on your success. Uh, you're back. You're a warrior. You're a world champion and you're back, back home with your team. Uh, just talk about being back and what it's like so far. Uh, I mean, I'm just very excited uh, for the opportunity. Um, obviously, you know, whenever uh, when, whenever when people want you, whenever you're wanted, it's just a good feeling. So for um, for Steve, Bob, uh, Mike, um, the whole coaching staff, for them uh, to want me back on the team, uh, especially at this time when it's winning time, uh, um, you know, I, I can't feel anything but grateful for the opportunity. Jordan, after your hi, congratulations! <laughs> after your first these <laughs> two years with the Warriors, um, you bounced around a bit. Yeah. What do you think it was about your relationships with this team that helped you get back here? Well, I'm sorry, what, you cut out a little bit. Yeah, um, you bounced around after your first two years here. What do you think it was about your relationships with this team that helped you come back? Um, um, uh. I mean, I would think it's just just my knowledge of the game and just obviously the way the team runs. Um, like today, first practice, like everything was just so natural to me. Um, and I just felt like a team like this is the type of team like I need to be on this kind of team where it's not about the traditional sizes of big men and centers and all that. It's just a team where <clears throat> it's all about selfish basketball and just playing the right way. Um, and that's the way I was always taught is to play the right way. So, um, And then relationships, obviously, just personal. Like it's, it's a lot easier when you come on the team like I said, I've been on six teams this year uh, or last two years. And when you go some places, when it's un unfamiliar territory, you're obviously a little, you're a little timid. You don't talk as much. You don't try and get to know people here. It was just so natural for me 
just I see everybody like I've, I've been seeing them for a while like Clay was like, oh JV like that's Clay I'm like I, I didn't expect anything else from Clay Steph came in Draymond came in uh even some of the other guys uh who went on the team I, I kind of uh kind of had a relationship with them um like ways I played with Minnesota with him but just in high school you know being in the same class you run into each other a lot so it's a lot of familiar faces on this team probably more so than any other team I've ever been on um so it, it feels it's, it's a lot it's a lot easier it feels good have they, you know, Jordan, by the way, have, have they kind of specified what your role might be uh, in the next couple weeks? Uh, just get it to the light skin dude. I think get the ball to the light skin. Uh. <laughs> uh, no, I mean they didn't say anything. Uh, like I said, I, I think the reason they brought me back is because it wasn't something that had to be explained to me. Like I know what I'm here, what I've got brought, what I've got brought back to do, um, and it's just to play the right way. It's no specific thing. Um, if I had to put a, th- a name on it, obviously I would just say uh, defend and be a ball mover, make the right passes. Um, but it, I would say just to play the right way. I, I think that's the reason they brought me back. Hi, Jordan. Janie McCauley. Good to see you again. Uh, tomorrow night, you're you're going right out there and you're playing. Yeah, the- the <laughs> I mean, are you ready to just step on? I mean, you've got so much, so much familiarity with, with guys like Steph and um, Draymond and um, – did you? I know Wiggins was limited today, but you got to go with him a little bit, and and you're right in the mix of of, of the playoff crunch right now. I mean, it, is this kind of a thrill? Yeah, it's very I mean, uh, thrill. Uh, obviously, like I said, it's winning time, and that's that's the best part of the season. Um, when it comes down to moments that count, like during the regular season, you know, you lose a game, just move on to the next one. These next couple games, if if win or lose, it makes a big difference. It impacts the future. So, um, I think that's when the, that's the funnest time to play basketball. Um, so I'm very excited. I'm very excited uh, to be back, especially like I said during this time. Hey Jordan, this is Rich with uh, Let's Go Warriors. Good to so see bad. you. All right, so I got the all important question from the fans, which is: uh, given that um, Nico Mannion's number two, Damian Lee's number one, what number are you going to pick, and and what's the process in picking that number? Uh, I pick number twenty. Uh, I just added a zero to two. <laughs> Uh, I mean, the the city, you know what that number stands for, but yeah, I, I just added it. I wanted to, but obviously uh, my pockets aren't that deep. You have to be trying to pay somebody for a number, especially just for a couple games of regular season. So uh, I just added a zero to it. <laughs> but the city, you know what the number means. Thanks. Hey, Jordan. Chris Solis from Grace. Hope you're doing well. Yep. I would like to ask you what it means for you to play for that or for that franchise to play to you uh, to get that uniform. And speaking about uh, Juan, what are the aspects that made it, made him so special as a player on and off the court? What's it mean to wear the Warriors uniform again? What makes Juan so special? Um, to wear the uniform, uh, Warriors uniform, like to me, it just it, it represents championship. It represents winning. You know, or literally, people say dubs. Like, you know, the teams are saying like dubs means winning. So like. I mean, to me, holding that like it, it, it's it's a uh, it's like having a cape. It means something. Like it, it, you represent a winning franchise, representing a winning culture. Uh, so I'm very humbled and uh, I'm very happy to be wearing it again. Um, and as far as Juan, man, uh, he's just, he's just a great. He's just he's 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 like a clear representation of a Bay Area person um, through and through. He he has so much spirit, so much life with him. Like every time I seen him, you just feel when he walks through the room, man. Uh, and on the court, like I can say is he didn't too, too, don't, don't too many people play play as hard as him, uh, go as hard as him. Like the veracity and the ferocious he plays with is just it's untelling. Like it's not too many people like him. Great, you're off the uh, hot seat. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate that, Christos. Before you leave there, I got to, I tried to reach out to you today. You're one of the NBA award voters. So if you want to keep coming on these calls, you need to make sure you take care of my guy, <laughs> Steph Curry. And uh, who else? we got Andrew Wiggins on the all-defensive team, and we got Draymond Defensive Player of the Year and Wiseman on the all-rookie team. Yeah, Christos has been a good he guy all year. <laughs> yeah, he's going to do good work for us. So don't, anyway. Don't Chris, worry, Raymond. Don't worry, Raymond. I, I got it. Good stuff. Oh. I, emailed, I emailed you today, buddy. Call me if you need anything. You got it. Bye-bye. Congrats, Christos. 
Yeah, there you go. By the way, no, uh, no, no shoot around tomorrow. We will have with a, don't forget it's a six 30 start. Yep. Because of ESPN. So Kerr will be at five 45 pre, excuse me, four 45 pregame. Thanks Raymond. Thanks Thank Jordan. You. Thank you. Raymond, I shot you a text. Thank you.